Gary Miller Gamer, how are you doing? Hello there. Am I UKK? I I'm I'm not that UK. <laughs> We've had a rough start to the season, setting in six, setting in sixty first place. Oh my God, I've lost my mind. We are setting in twenty first place. <laughs> One point out relegation. Oh my God. I <laughs> Look, what it is, is it's cold. The temperature here in Kentucky just decided to crash on us tonight again. And I had to go get a blanket. What is it? It's uh, 30 degrees outside. The feels like it's 25. So, yes, we are 61st place out of uh, 24 teams. It's one of those days. Nick Freeman, we will not stand in the way of a big transfer. I don't think anybody's wanting him, though. All right. We've got to make a new formation. I've pulled up my little... I don't know if anybody else uses OneNote for Windows 10, but I do. <laughs> I like make notes at work and stuff when I research and then I bring it up here at the house and uh I I look at stuff to uh see what we can do I'm Definitely want him on defense now because he's been screwing the pooch coming out there in support. Um, let me bring in my... I think McAllister is actually better over here than Bennett. What foot is he? He's very right footed, so he has to be inverted. We could also make him an inside forward. We could try that. And Bennett over here, I'm pretty sure he's both. He's right. That actually lets him... I'm about just to let him turn loose. Support. Let's go support with him. They can support them on attack. I want Bellingham to definitely attack. The problem is, is we're not going to have enough. Well, we're going to be tight. Like with long staff back here. I'm afraid if I put him up there, that may be too much. I 
Another ball playing defender. Not stopper. That's not a thing. Defend, defend. <laughs> the paper clip comes up. So it looks like you're trying to avoid relegation. Um. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. I like the top half. I just don't know what to do about this bottom here. I do like that this guy can play that if he wanted to. So I'm kind of wanting to make these ball winning midfielders. So they're more defensive. The problem is we don't really have anybody supporting. That's four support with four attack. Is that too many? I mean, I think we have to play more direct, whether we want to or not. That's the problem. I wish standard directness worked for the fan objective, but it just doesn't. Like, they hate it. We play to the wings, because that's where our best players are. Okay, um... The short kicks has not been working. We've been turning it over. Actually, I'd rather him go just to the fullback. That would let Talaji Bola and let Harrison take over the ball a little bit more because our center backs have been pretty bad at giving it up. I don't think we've been able to counter very much. So, no, we got a counter. Okay. And then on this, I have no idea what to do. We've been running mid block and lower all season. There's not like a standard either.
push them out. And we should be able to do that with this triangle Christmas tree thing we were working on. I'm scared to push this way too far up. We give a lot of stuff in the penalty area. That that's what this is for. Long range shots. Well, I think I will keep this uncautious. Let's do this. We'll try this. We'll see what happens. I mean, right now we're just kind of rolling the dice and trying to figure out something for the team. Oh, one thing I need to do before I forget is to go into this and you have to reload your routines because it's all trash. Oh my God. Okay, let's drop a save. I mean, we're only nine games into the season. We nine out of 46. So we've got a, we got a while to not worry about things just yet. But I am stressing a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I feel like right now I'm feeling like I, I crapped the bed during the off season when it comes to going out and getting better players. Remain calm. All is well. <laughs> oh, great. I think it would be a good idea to hold a team meeting to make sure everyone's pulling in the same direction and focus at the task at hand. Oh. Let's save so we say the right thing. I'm going to encourage them. Look, I know it's not been easy recently, but we're good enough to turn things around as long as we stay focused and remain positive. Outstretched arms. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> St. Pat's Athletic. Sam Curtis. He's 19 years old. He's better than Harrison Ashby. Wow. Okay. They got him on contract for two more years, though. 100k to 1 million for him. And maybe like finding uh, replacements like that is the way to go. One note entry still not here. Wow, Cayman. Wow. That hurts my feelings.
Purdue. Yeah, Purdue hurt everybody. There is zero perfect brackets out of 20 million now because of that game. All right, we got a week to work on this. And they're working on defense, so I do like that. I dig that. We only have six place middles brawl coming up. Um on my two brackets that I've filled out for our uh, competition, I think I had Arizona winning in one. Yeah, that one's not going to happen. And then I had uh, UCLA winning in, in the other one. So, I mean, you know, it's not that bad. No, 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 I'm wrong. I had Houston winning in one and UCLA winning in the other one. So, my two champions are still alive. Let's go. Oh, what's this? Everton's Onana, disciplined by the club. Oh, his absence from training must be a regen. No, he's not. I thought only the uh, the regions could get in trouble. I like going out and partying and doing all that. That's cool. I'm surprised my players haven't been doing that yet. All right, who do we got in the Carabao Cup? Uh, Dylan Williams. We looked at him at one point and he didn't want to come play for us. They don't even have him registered. That's sad. Bruno Pinu. He's only worth $3.7 million. Let's look at the youngest boys here and see who's best. FBI, open up! <laughs> Alex Duffin, you're the winner. 16 pace, 13 acceleration. He sucks at crossing though. Trey Hill though for Barnett. He's not that fast. He's 18 though. Sixteen work rate, sixteen teamwork, eighteen off the ball, sixteen composure. That kid could be really good someday. Uh, even though he's not released. Uh, U19. I'll put him on this one. The under 19, like. Oh, youth players, maybe? Yeah, we'll put him on that one. Aaron Moore. 
Central Defender. He's worth a lot because they already marked him up, so he must already be doing well. 16 jumping reach, 16. I've looked at this kid before, I believe. Yeah, once they get to 19, they're a little too old for me. All right, we're just financially okay now. We still have about $3 million in the bank, but we did lose a half a million last month. I don't know how. Lethal always judging me, I swear. Oh man, hopefully we can work on this new tactic and be ready to keep Middlesbrough from, uh, I'm always gonna say Middlesbrough. Because that's what the town near me is called. Well, the town that I grew up. And they had a Ryan's Buffet Steakhouse, which was amazing. So we got a B. Okay, well, that's good. We still haven't forgotten about the successes of last season. Okay, well, that's good. The fans gave me a B-. minus. Disappointed with Jamie Cummings' recent performances. Yeah, me too. Actually, I should go yell at him. Look at these. 686, 63, 65, 65. Warren player. Uh, what do we, what do we do? He's expressionless. Beckon. I don't think he played as well as you can in recent matches. You have to keep working. He's very happy. Okay. You can't argue. Yeah, you can't argue. You sucked. The locker room is now average. Well, this is some interesting code here. Ben Goodlift is evidently A W A A G V R B G M C B B G. And then uh, this is obviously Harrison Ashby. Here's Tom Holmes. Yeah, we can't afford him. So it's good to know that their coding is working after this last uh, update. That's what I look forward to. I read this as Nottingham Forest pooper scoop. And it's Nottingham Forest's Potter scoops. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe I am gone crazy. Maybe I have gone crazy tonight. I mean, I don't know. Promise there's no bourbon in this. Maybe that's my problem. I've not had alcohol for the longest of times. So you followed the channel. You know what you did was wrong, but the question is, how are you gonna make things right? Hey, official H Dog, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Hello there. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Wow, they want a rotated squad for this? I don't know. Drake FC, Drake FC are up against it in the home encounter. Uh, against relegated Middlesbrough. So they were Premier League last year. Five players caught up for international duty. Shea Charles, Leon Cullen, Rosiak, Mullen B, and Mullen. Cool. 
Uh, Millsboro have notched up three straight league wins, and the promotion contenders in lie in sixth. It'd be a tough match. Fellow strugglers, Cardiff City will want to show they can avoid the drop this season by winning their match against Sunderland. Is that a game you expect them to win? They're a good side. It's fair to say the Drake FC didn't have the best of times against Nottingham Forest. Are you looking for a reaction? The whole team wants to bounce back with a win. Matty Longstaff's recent arrival seems to have positive. Okay, so see, they before they, they said he's not been playing well. Janelle Bennett, delighted to have him available for every game possible. All right, is this the lineup I want to go with? I think so. The only thing I would change is Longstaff, Shea Charles. I don't want Tucker to start. They're about the same. I'll put Shea Charles on the bench. I'm going to start Brandon Cooper, too. All right. This is a good team. I like this. Mine's a wonderful early morning. I could never press conferences like that. Why not? <gasps> no! <laughs> Why? You got tearing me apart, Lisa. Did you get hurt walking onto the bus? <laughs> Emotional damage. Ah, damaged foot. It's so damaged, we can't even tell you exactly what's wrong with it. Welp. So here's the question. I could put Tommy Lay up there. Remember, we played him at striker last season, and he did amazing. We also have McNeely, 14 finishing. What's Tommy Lay's? 13 finishing. And Max Dean is setting it 13 finishing. So we've got options. McNeely's been playing great. He's got two goals. I think I'll start him. That's probably going to move. Amari Miller up. Maybe not. Uh, I am from uh, the States in Kentucky. So having a terrible start to the beginning of the season, and now we've lost our main striker. Uh, it's just been a great, just great start to the season. Um, yeah. <laughs> defeat, defeat. Hope for a change in formation to improve results. No reason to change the effective counterattacking stance. Ah, it's good to see. We do got a long period of time. I guess it's, yeah, it's international duty time. So that's why we'll have some uh, recovery. Well, then you'll definitely make fun of how I say Middlesbrough. So. All right, new formation. My nephew is out at St. Patrick's Day festivities. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on him here. I 
I know it's like Middlesbrough, but in America we say Middlesbrough because there's a borough like near where I grew up. I'm sure they're going crazy about all this. Yeah, they are like freaking out about it. Now, why do you all want to change these two guys around now, all of a sudden? I'm going to try them like this. Jamie Cumming is emboldened, whatever that means. Do you rock? In Boulder, isn't that somewhere out there in Tottenham? I say everything wrong because I have a redneck accent that comes out every once in a while. I would definitely take like a draw against this team. All right, Michael Carrick is the manager of Middlesbrough. He's got Wright, Arribas, and Corbino, 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 uh, Illich, Levitt, and Hayden in midfield. Imano, McNair, Fry, Dick Still. <laughs> There's no way that's that dude's name. And Blanco. How do you say this dude's name? Anthony Dyke Still? Is that, is that what it is? Okay, I got to look it up. How do you pronounce? Um, D I J K S T E E L. Oh, here he is. Somebody's already pronounced his name for us. And Fernie Dextiel. Dextiel. And Fernie Dextiel. And Fernie Dextiel. Okay. I was close. Deck. All right, James Lennington is the official today. It's 59 degrees, and we are at home. And fans are probably a little upset at the product we've put out on the field here lately. I hope we can bounce back today. <clears throat> here in hour three of the stream. Ten thousand people here. All right, already a corner for them. <clears throat> Arribas sends it in, and right, oh my God! Why do they get a hot one? Like that? that was a good header, but he just missed. Jeez. I know one thing I wanted to check. On Janelle Bennett, did we get a... No, he's going to be shooting from a distance. For some reason, I thought he had the thing to uh, stick to one side of the field or the other. Oh, my God. They hit the post and the crossbar on that attempt. Nope. So much for our uh, defensive stops. Though they've only had two shots. Knock on wood. Cooper goes up to Tucker. Back Tucker to Longstaff. Plays it forward. Bennett's up there. Bennett past the keeper. Oh, it was a big opportunity there, but we just couldn't finish. Janelle Bennett playing on the other side of the field. He had it on a strong foot. He just couldn't get control of it. His first touch was back. That looked like a handball. Have a word, ref. Throw in for us. Talaji Bola going to go long, trying to hit McNeely. McAllister comes up with it. McAllister goes back to Longstaff. McNeely puts it in there for the goal. Let's go. McNeely in for the injured Liam, Cum or Liam Cullen. Great header. Gets rewarded with it. Longstaff finds him, powers it past the keeper in the bottom corner. 
One nil, Drake's leading here against Millsborough. Oh my God, we needed that. We had not had a goal so long. Wait, Stock, I'm glad that you woke up and joined us. Let's give a little bit of praise to the team. I have not praised them all season. Free kick here, Longstaff takes it. Sends it in, Cooper off the top of the middle. Free kick. Don't give up a goal. Coming. Let's go. Jamie coming. Deck still throws it in. Back to Fry. Elich up to Levitt. Good lift to Bola. Talaji Bola. Tries to go over the top to McNeely again. Couldn't get it. McAllister heads it over. Bellingham gets it. Deck still gets a hold of that one. Corbin now. We'll play it forward. Amy Cumming comes up, hits Harrison Ashby. A minute or so to go till half. Bennett taken down. Longstaff plays it up. Bellingham couldn't get to it. He does. Well, actually, it's a goal kick. Uh, Sheffield is how I say it. Wow. I told them they're doing great and they're capable of better, and one dude got happy about it. Best news there. I try. Usually, uh, Zeros is in here and he's giving me a, or Zenus is in here giving me a hard time about Dutch words. Norwich. Free kick for us, Longstaff. We need to make sure that people aren't getting tired here. 51 minutes in. Cooper. And good lift. Back Tucker. Back to Cooper. Mel Bennett. Bennett's been a little slow on the side. He'll cross that over to McAllister. McAllister up to Talaji Bola. Left back playing up forward, looking to bring it over. Sends it over to McAllister. McAllister to Matty Longstaff. He takes a shot, it's deflected. The breaks will get. A corner kick here. Janelle Bennett swings it in. Ben Goodlift looking for it. He heads it. It goes over. Goal kick to Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough is set in sixth place. Fifth place right now. Little cards coming out on our team. Three kick. Tucker, Bola. Oh, come on, Jack Tucker. I was getting ready to take him out, and I didn't. If this leads to a goal, I'll get mad. Good lift. Ben good lift. Controls it. Let's, uh... I'll bring in Shea Charles now. Janelle Bennett's... I want to switch them around. Let's switch them around for a little bit. Let him play on his more natural side. Free kick for us. Bennett sends it in. We couldn't get a hold of it there, but we will end up with it here. Here's McAllister. He's now playing on the right side. Goes to Matty Longstaff. Janelle Bennett back over on the left. Plays it back. Turns it over. 70th minute. Oh, yeah, I understand. You're just making them regions and then probably going after them. Up to Janelle Bennett. A second goal here would be amazing. In the McNeely, he hits it. It's deflected. 20 to play. Ashby's a little wore out. I'm actually going to bring in. Mullen over there for him. Then it's just not having a good day. The 
bring in Oko Flex. One nil still going into the 80th minute. All right, 10 minutes to play. Matty Longstaff, we're going to have to sub him out. Bring in Forson. If I bring them back for more of like a defensive. How to just crash them. Oh, they just go back to the club they were at, the club they retired from. Throw in here, 85th minute. Why didn't just pull that one out? Coming gets it. All right, let's uh, let's time waste a little bit. Slow the pace down. See if we can hold on to this win. This will be a big one for the morale. But we've been giving goals away. Here's McAllister. Oh, he'll lose that. Mullen comes up and gets it. Mullen charges into the box. Look at the pass. Mullen spins around. Still looking. He's got Talaji Bola. It's hit. It's up in the air. They're going to say it's offsides. Come on, guys. Hold it. 89th minute. No, 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 no. no. Turn it over there. Oh, Jamie coming. 89th minute. 90th minute. Five minutes of extra time. This will be a big, this could, oh no. Please no, not like this. Jamie coming. They have given them an extra minute in this game. If they score on this, I'm gonna get. Come on, Raph, blow the whistle. Yes! Oh, that's a big one. Oh, we needed that one. Look how much movement they had over here above my head, like right here. They were all over the field. Yeah, Yankee, I uh, posted some of that stuff in Discord. Uh, H-Dog, I've liked soccer since I was young. It's just not really grown here in America until here recently. Like, I don't have a favorite team in England or Germany or anything like for that matter. And I only really like the local teams here in the US that are like close to me, whether they're in my state or really close to a state near me. That was really special guys. Nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificent. Congratulations. God, we needed that. We needed that. That's a big three points we just picked up. That, that pulls us out of the, we're still just a point out of the relegation. But 10 point or nine points in 10 games looks a lot better than what it did. A young Drake FC side showed that you can win with kids as they come out on top against a much more experienced Middlesbrough on a fine fall afternoon. A succession of fouls by Drake FC that prevented the match from ever truly getting into a rhythm. Oh, they're going to blame us for that now. What did you make of the tactical battle out there? I thought it was a fascinating match to everyone watching and have plenty to say about it. Despite only having 38% possession, you still managed to win. Did you intend to allow Middlesbrough quite so much of the ball? Uh, possession is overrated. What did they do with it? That's a jerk. 
Yeah, Ryan Reynolds also just made a fortune selling his cell phone company. I'm curious if he's going to pump that money into uh, Wrexham. We must be delighted at having finally ended an extended run of seven games. It certainly weighed off our collective shoulders. He made the unusual decision to substitute Armstrong Oko Flex in the 82nd minute with the player himself having previously come off the bench. Did I? I moved him. I didn't sub him. And if I did, I didn't mean to do it. Drake FC in their seven match winless run. Thank the heavens. Well, I'll just be glad to stop seeing his stupid cell phone commercials on YouTube every time an ad break pops up. I mean, I like seeing Ryan Reynolds, but I don't want to see him that much. And then his mother and his grandmother and everybody come on there. <laughs> all right the teams below us have a game in hand so we could still drop down we can't be cocky just yet it's like indiana's winning Memphis, Memphis is barely winning. I picked them to go pretty deep. I'm, if anything comes out of Ryan Reynolds owning Wrexham, I just hope that it helps push like more Americans to get into the sport. It's like I said, I, I, I enjoyed it even when I was young, but like my high school didn't even have a soccer team until after I graduated, so. Let me go check this. We probably need to work on possession. as we suck at possession. 